Hey, so now I'm going to teach you guys how to take the square root of a number uh, by doing this uh, long division thing. It's not quite long division, but it's similar to it. And um, honestly, I, I really don't like this uh, because it deals with long numbers or big numbers and you have to calculate, do some calculations with them and usually you end up doing them on the calculator anyway and I mean if you're using a calculator then well you can just compute the square root of a number using the calculator but uh, apparently this is something that you uh, have that you will have or will see on the SAT so I'm going to teach you how to do it okay well the first thing that we do is uh, we have to group these numbers into pairs uh, working from where the decimal point is outward. So these two, that's a pair. These two are a pair, and this is a pair, but since it's all by itself, then it's just a, a lone pair. And then uh, over here we have to add a zero, and that will be a pair as well. Okay? So the first thing we do is we look at the the first so-called pair. In this case, it's just a 1. And then you want to find a perfect square that's as close to this number as possible. And of course, the closest perfect square to 1 is just 1, and then you just write it underneath here. And then you want to square this. You want to square this number and put it on top. So the square of 1 is just 1. And then you take the difference, and that's 0. Now. The next thing you do is you bring down the next pair. So that's a 3 and a 9. Okay, and then you put this uh, division sign here, just like that. Then what you do is you take whatever number is on top here, whatever number, in this case it's just a 1, and you double that. So twice of 1 is, well, 2. Then you cover up the fir uh, the last digit. In this case, it's a 9. You cover that up, and then you ask yourself, how many times does 2 go into 3? And of course, we know it goes into uh, 3 just once, so you put a, a 1 up here. And uh, there's going to be a remainder, but you ignore that. Just ignore it completely. And then you take that number, and then you just bring it down over here. I should have left a little bit more room, but it's okay. So... Now you have 21. And what you do is you just multiply 21 times this number. So it's 21 times 1, and you get just 21. Then, of course, you just take the difference between 39 and 21. Okay? And, of course, the difference is just 18. Next, we bring down the next pair. Next pair is 27. So we bring down 27. And uh, we do our little division sign, okay? And uh, then we look on top here, and uh, we see that we have 11. The, count this, just think of this as 11. Okay, let me put this decimal point over here, by the way. Think of this as just 11, and you double that, and then you get 22. Okay? And then you cover up the last digit, just like that. And then you ask yourself, how many times does 22 go into 182? Okay? And it goes in 8 times. So we write our 8 right on top here. Okay? Right above that, uh, that pair that we're dealing with here. Put an 8 there. And then you duplicate it again. Write the 8 over there. And then you just multiply 228 times 8, in which case you get 1824. Okay? And then you just take the difference once again. And the difference is 3, and then you bring down the final set here. Okay. Almost done. Then we, well, Actually, uh, 
we pretty much are done. Um, but uh, just for the, the hell of it, we're going to uh, keep going a little bit. So 118, you have to double this. 118 is, uh, well, actually, let me just double check this. 118 times 2 equals well, 236. Okay? That makes sense. And then you ask yourself, well, how many times does uh, 236 go into, remember, you have to cover up this last digit. How many times does it go into 33? And of course, the answer is zero. It doesn't go in at all. So you write a zero on top of that pair over here. And then you need to bring that zero down over here, you know, duplicate it. And then you just multiply this times that zero over there. And of course you get zero and the difference is well, three, three, zero. Now we have a number that's, you know, reasonable. It's it's up to the, the tenths place. So really we can we can just answer this right now. This is good this is gonna be uh, an irrational number. So at least I'm pretty sure it's rational. So we just put answer equals 11.8, right? And you can double check that on the calculator. So square root of 139.273, right? Square root, oh wait, so I need to get that a little bit more clear, but you can kind of read it. So it's 11.80 and that's, you know, that's what we got over here. I mean, we could have kept going, but it's an irrational number, so you're going to have to round it at some point. Okay. Uh, let's do another one. Let's see. Let's do a square root of uh, 103.8361. Like that. So, we start off doing the same exact thing we did before. Group them into pairs, working out from the decimal point. So these two go together, this one is a lone pair, these two go together, and these two go together. Okay, You work your way out from the decimal point. Wherever the decimal point is, group them into pairs, working out. So you're going to be left over with just this one digit that's a lone pair, but that's okay. And then... Uh, What's the perfect square root of 1? Well, 1, once again. Square 1, get a 1. The difference between 1 and 1 is 0, and then you bring down the 0 and the 3, put a division sign. Twice of 1 is 2. Mm -hmm. Cover up that. 2 goes into 0, 0 times. Put that decimal point right there. And uh, then you duplicate that over here. And uh, then multiply 20 by 0, you get 0. Difference of 3 and 0 is 3. Bring down the next pair, 8, 3. Then we put our division sign. We look at whatever number's on the top. So that's a 10. So twice of 10 is a 20. That's 20. Cover up this number, and then you ask yourself, 20 goes into 38 how many times? Do, do, do. Well, how many times? <laughs> it goes in once, of course. And then you just write that there. All right? So 201 times 1 equals 201. And then you take the difference, 1, 8, 2. Then you bring down the last pair, 61. Put the division sign. So now you have 10.1. Just think of this as 101. So uh, just double that, and you get 202. Okay, leave some room over here. Okay. So then you just cover this up, and then you have to ask yourself, you know, how many times does 202 go into 1,826? This is the reason why I don't really like this. I mean, you, you pretty much need to have a calculator in order to really know, you know, how many times it goes into it. Well, 
it, it goes into a nine times. So we just put a nine up there, and then you, of course, duplicate that there. Okay? And then you just multiply nine times 2029, and uh, eventually you just get 18261. So it stops right there. The difference between those two is just zero. So the answer is 10.1. One nine. Makes sense, right? Okay, and let's just do one more. And then we have square root of point two point oh two one nine oh four. So we start by looking at where the decimal place is, and then we group them into pairs working out. So this is a pair, this is a pair, and this is a pair. Okay, so what is the closest square, perfect square to 2? The closest perfect square to 2 is just 1. And then you square 1, and that's 1. And you put it on top, and then you just go like that. Oh, remember to put that decimal place right there. Uh, the difference between 2 and 1, of course, is just 1. Bring down the 1 and the 9. Put your little division symbol here. Okay, and then you take this, right, and you double it. So you get a, a 2. Right? Then cover that up. And then you ask yourself, how many times does 2 go into 11? Now this is where it becomes a little tricky. If you put 5 up there, which is the correct answer, uh, it won't work out. It won't work out. You're going to end up with 25 times 5, which I can just do really quickly. Uh, and you get 125, and you know 119 minus 125 won't work. So then you have to put a 4 here instead. You know, try the next best thing. And then you bring that 4 down, and then you get 24 times 4. And then you get 96. 119 minus 96, you get 23. Bring down the last pair, 0, 4. Put your division symbol. We have, uh, imagine this is just 14. 14 times 2 is 28. Put a 28 here. Okay. Cover this number up. How many times does 28 go into 230? Well, you can do it on the calculator. So, 30 divided by 28, eh, about eight times. See, I mean, nobody really wants to, you have to do it out with hand if you don't have a calculator, but whatever. Uh, eight, right, eight. And then you bring your eight down over here. And then it's 228 times eight. 228 times eight. And what do you get? Well, you get, Two, three, oh, four. The difference between these two, of course, is just zero. So your answer is 0.148. Okay, that is your answer. 0.148. So that's how you uh, solve um, or compute the square root of a number using this uh, procedure. Like I said, it's not <laughs> always so reliable. Occasionally you'll come into, you know, something weird like this where you have to put a 4 instead of 5, but, you know, just just be cognizant of that, you know, and, and do the best you can. Okay, thanks for watching.